Hello everyone, thanks for viewing my video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get Minecraft EDU Edition, how to license it, and how to sign into it, and how to get the Hour of Code world that you're going to need in order to participate in Hour of Code. So you can see the screen here is only really for the administrators of your Office 365 environment um, if you are part of a school or other organization. In order to use Minecraft EDU, you have to have a Minecraft education uh, license. You can see here, um, for those who are not familiar with licensing, that my organization, this test organization, has education edition and one available license, and zero of one are given out. If you are, if you do not have the, the proper Microsoft licensing level, you will not have Minecraft Education Edition. You can, however, purchase it. The licensing at the moment is about $12 per user per year, and you can do that through purchase services. Um, I can't use that and show it to you because I already have a license in this environment. However, I'm gonna show you how to apply it to the users that you want to apply it to. I'm going to click on the Minecraft Education Edition. You can see I have one license, but no one has it. I have no one on the list. If I click on Assign License, I then would need to type a name in, and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to select that user, and I'm going to make sure that Education Edition is selected. Now, if I uncheck that, it'll remove the license. It won't actually assign it. I'm going to get an Assign It. And it's going to do its little circles, and I now have a license for Minecraft Education Edition. It is worth noting that if your organization does not have a Minecraft Education license, you can still download Education Edition. And as long as you are a school or nonprofit, you should be able to still use Education Edition for up to, I believe it's 10 trial launches of the, of the program. That's enough to do Hour of Code. So you should be good to go even if your organization does not have this license as long as you have a Microsoft 365, Office 365 account. To download Education Edition, note that you need Education Edition in order to do this particular hour of code that we're discussing. You go to education.minecraft.net, en-us, get-started, slash download, um, and you can navigate there from the home screen as well. Um, and then you would click, you would click um, download once you navigate to that page. And it will figure out whether you have Windows or a Mac. When you click download, it will download it to your computer and then you would need to install Minecraft just as you would any other program. And once you've done that, and then you would launch Minecraft, you're going to get a sign-in screen. So this is one of those Education Edition things. You're now going to sign in using that um, school email address and password. Um, you don't need it to download it, but you do need it to sign in. And so you need that account already created before you do this. So that's really important um, to note. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in on the license that I just um, I just gave myself and I'm going to type in that password I'll use a different account I don't remember the password <laughs> so let's use a different account Click next, and I'm going to sign in to that. Um, this is going to ask me to approve the sign-in request because my account has multi-factor authentication. If your account does not have multi-factor authentication enabled, you will not have that screen um, pop up. So now I have done that, and I've signed in to Minecraft. And so you get the screen that says play hour of code settings switch accounts. In this situation, we're going to click hour of code and it's going to bring up the hour of code worlds. The one that we are working with is hour of code 2020 inclusion. That is the one we want. So we're going to click on that. And you can see here that it gives a brief description. And what we want to do is create the world. And once you've done this, 
you should be all set for Hour of Code 